This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And let's get right into the news. All right. So starting off, Tusi, the rapper, singer, has a beef with DDG. The uh, I would I wouldn't just call him a YouTuber anymore. He's very successful at YouTube, but he's also a rapper now. And I got to say he's a, su a successful rapper now because he sold a lot of records with Blueface and other records. Uh, the dancing, Cal what, what was it, the Calabasas song he has. He's very, having a lot of success. So Pussy goes live and says, yo, you YouTuber rappers. There's only one really big YouTuber rapper, and that's DDG right now. And... He's basically saying, stay out of my girl's DMs, da 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 right? So everybody knows he's talking about DDG. DDG says, if we have beef, we're beefing for life. Now, I don't... DDG's just messing around, because like I don't see him as like you know super tough guy. I know he comes from uh, Pontiac, Michigan, if I'm... And you, don't, you can't be a, a soft person coming from there. But, you know, is he a turn-up person that's going to like just beef with people? No. He says, can't beef with a guy that's broker than me. Um, then he says, uh, well off fire. Uh, then uh, he responds to him, well off fire. And then he says, can't beef with a guy that's broker than me. Then he says, uh, ha, ha, ha. He laughs at it. Okay. I mean, you know, whatever. You know, it's like, th this isn't going to go anywhere anyways. And then some, somehow Ruby Rose tries to involve herself with, dudes get so mean when you curve them. I mean, she's just trying to get involved in anything, huh? With uh, that involves DDG. Uh, anyways, uh, I saw Academics trying to like. He got into Tusi's live, and they tried. He tried to like mend it and just make sure that like it didn't go any further than it did, which is good. You know that that's good that Academics did that because uh, he knows both of them. Soldier Boy, uh, he did the video for Make It Clap. He celebrates going number one for some one of the billboard charts i think for trailer she puts johnny blaze in the video brings her back from the past <laughs> uh and i don't know man we'll see how the video is going to be big because all the girls are doing the dance and everything and i think he uh is taking full advantage of it being big on uh, uh trailer and all that TikTok and all that other stuff. But, you know, hey, you got to take advantage of when something's popping. Um, he's making a lot of money off of it, too. He got a deal with Virgin Records. They obviously offered him the most money, and that's where he went. Uh, next. DMX had a private funeral today, I think, with uh, just, you know, certain family members, uh, you know, Baby moms, wives, ex-wives, fiancés. DMX lived a, a full life. <laughs> and that's what we love him for. So uh, Russell Simmons made a, uh, or probably recorded a, uh, you know, some kind words for him. And then he went viral. I, 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 how are people, did they live stream it? I didn't see, I don't know if they were live streaming it, but uh Anyways, Russell Simmons went viral because, of course, everyone's going to remind everybody why Russell Simmons isn't in the country anymore and all the allegations he has, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, that's what went on today for that. And then uh, lastly, Jake Paul versus Dana White. Dana White mentioned Jake Paul today. Uh, he said, because or last night he was reacting to Jake Paul doing the UFC and you say, listen, the guy's, you know, amazing marketing, pulling great numbers, but he didn't do the amount of numbers you think he did, blah, blah, blah. So that obviously made Jake Paul mad. He said, at Dana White, Dana, Lee, Dana, you claimed you would bet a million dollars on me losing. Set up Askren to train with Freddie Roach, gave him full access to UFC PI, and he still got his ass handed to him. Seems like you're the real douche, not a real. In my third fight, fight, I made more in total pay than any fighter in the UFC history. Maybe it's time you pay your fighters their fair share. No wonder they all want to get into boxing. Dana, you say you make the fights fans want to see. So hurry, hurry up and make the Jones versus Nagano. I, I'm probably saying the name wrong. Sorry about that. 
Pay them their fair share, $10 million purse for each guy, plus pay-per-view. Why are UFC fighters so underpaid versus boxers? Why did I make more in my third fight than I did uh, than all but two, Khabib and Connor? UFC fights, what is it? UFC fighters have in history, I know why. I don't know. Anyways, I'm tired. <laughs> I, anyways, I'll check you guys in the next one. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm just keeping you guys updated because the news is trash. <laughs> Peace.